This is part 3 in the Fujifilm X100 6 series. Today we're going to be going over how to download your Fuji recipes. Hey what's going on, hope you're doing alright. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today we're going to be going over how to download your favorite Fuji recipes into your Fujifilm X100 6. This process is going to be very similar to the other X100 series cameras like the V and the ones going back. We're gonna do this in two different methods. The first method is gonna be just using your camera alone. The second method is gonna be using the XRAW Studio, which you can download on your computer. So let's dive into this. What you wanna do is go ahead and turn your camera on, go to the menu OK button. Here you wanna be in IQ, and in this section here is where you want to copy that recipe into these different options. Once you're finished, you're gonna come down here to the Edit Save Custom, you're gonna click that one and you will be able to save it into one of these seven slots so just go ahead and click one now it says custom one now from here what you can do is go ahead and do it one more time you can either edit it copy it erase it or add a custom name so this is where you'll add that custom name to save it so that you can easily recognize it now from the main screen go ahead and click q which is this button over here They'll bring up this screen and then the top left is where your Fujifilm recipes will be able to be accessed. You're going to use this dial up here. Just go ahead and turn it. And you'll see that you have them saved up there. Now to select the recipe, you just want to click whichever custom save slot you went to and use this dial to select it. Now it is ready to go. So this is how you're going to download your recipes straight into your camera through your computer. I find this way a little bit easier to do. You want to come into your main menu and go all the way down here to the double arrows. And then you want to go down here to the connection mode. You want to select this USB raw conversion backup restore and turn that on. Now once you have that turned on, you're going to be using your USB. So I'm going to take my cable and connect it here and connect that to my computer. So once you hook your camera up and turn it on, you want to open Fujifilm X-RAW Studio and you'll be led to a screen like this. Now over on the left you should have where your file system is and on the bottom you'll have like the photos that are in that folder. I went ahead and minimized those so that we could focus over here. So in the custom one slot I want to put my Fuji recipe. And to find your Fuji recipes, you can use Fujifilm X Weekly or go on to Facebook and join a group. They share a lot of those there. Or just a little bit around on the internet. So I chose Kodachrome 64 because I enjoy using that on my Fujifilm X105. Now to do this, it says Film Simulation is going to be Classic Chrome. Dynamic Range is going to be DR200, which I can't access, so I'm going to skip that. Now the green effect is weak and small, so we're going to go weak and small. The color chrome effect is going to be strong, so we're going to put that strong. And then the color chrome effect blue is off. Let's see, so the next thing is going to be the white balance. We're going to jump down here, and this is going to be daylight. And that is going to be plus two red, negative five blue. So plus two red, negative five blue. Let's see if that's it. Nope. Go one more down to negative five. Highlight, it's going to stay on zero. Shadow is going to be plus 0.5. Color is going to be two, plus two. Sharpness is going to be plus one. And then, let's see, noise reduction is going to be negative 4. Clarity is going to be plus 3. So I've gone out and shot a few different images so far, and unlike the Fujifilm 5, you can actually set the clarity to something other than 0 without getting that buffer. I'm going to keep the color space ISO up to 6400, exposure compensation 2 thirds. So there we go. This is Fujifilm recipe that I wanted to try out. So what I'm gonna come up here is to the camera profile custom. And I'm gonna save this. And it'll give you which slot you want to do this. So I wanna go to custom one. I'm gonna hit save. And put the name of this, which is Kodachrome. Kodachrome. 
Chrome 64. You hit OK. Camera is going to make a sound and it's going to save. So there you go. You just saved your recipe into your camera by using the XRAW Studio on your computer. And again, I found this a lot simpler to do it that way. So that's it. You just saved your recipe on your Fujifilm X106 using the Fujifilm XRAW Studio application on the desktop or your computer. Make sure you use all seven custom slots. If you're looking for different recipes, definitely check out Fuji X Weekly. That's where I found this one. Or jump onto your social media. I'm sure there's groups here or there, whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, or any of the other ones that you enjoy. I hope this helps you out. And this is going to be part of the series I'm doing for the Fujifilm X106. So make sure to check out that playlist. It may answer some questions you have. But if you have any additional questions or comments on the Fujifilm X106, make sure to leave those down in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.